Hi, Grandma Roseanne. We're going to have what I started out to think was going to be a catfish dinner. Not quite. I always go to my fishmonger and I buy the fish. I got lazy the other day. I was in a grocery store. I never buy frozen fish. Don't fault me for this. I got lazy. So I bought clean fish, catfish fillets. I'm thinking catfish fillet. Have you ever seen anything that pathetic? I mean, that's, that's a catfish sampler. That's all that is. Unbelievable when I pulled it out, but I was all ready to film for you, so that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have that by itself, but it's still gonna be good. All right, now we want to make the uh, breading for it. So here I have a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and in here, I have almost all of the seasoning. I have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, just, just the dash of the chili flakes because I'm kind of wimpy when it comes to the hot stuff. And that goes in. And then just a little bit of Cajun, if you like Cajun seasoning, which we do, a little bit of that. And you want to give it just a good little mix so that everything is incorporated and combined. Would this have been easier had I done this in a bowl? Of course it would have been, but we're already committed to this plate. So the plate has to work with us. Now in here I have one egg that I have slightly beaten and I'm going to put just a little bit of sriracha in there, just a tiny little bit for flavor. Now for our massy fish. And this I have ready, it's a wrap with uh, parchment under it so I don't have to clean the whole counter. I've got my fryer at 365 degrees, which is the perfect, perfect temperature for frying. So now then, I'm just gonna dip it into our egg batter. Dip it into our flour cornmeal mixture that has been very well seasoned. Now, uh, as I was uh, dipping these and, and breading them, this one, it's fatty. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a head start. I love catfish, and when I was working and traveling extensively, boy, I'm telling you, nobody makes catfish the way the Southerns do. Wow, they are amazing with their all of their food all of their food, but boy, they've got catfish down pat. All right, now I'm gonna put these little guys in. The nice thing about them being this thin is that there's no way you're going to undercook them. I'm going to let them cook about three minutes on one side and then flip them. All right, I think we are good. They're really little, but they're gonna be good, I'm sure. A little bit of salt, and then we will just wait for a couple of minutes and then we'll take a, a taste. All right. So let's see what we have accomplished here. I don't want to burn my mouth again. Mm. Breading, very nicely seasoned, very nicely seasoned. And those little, <laughs> those little tiny baby half fish that we got were cooked just perfectly. So it's delicious. It's really delicious. I know I'm making fun of the size of it, but you know, it's a good healthy portion. I would not eat that much, but 
two of those little guys, it'd probably be a nice meal. So thank you so much. I will put the ingredients below. Come back whenever you are so inclined. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the bell. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Well, here we are. We're at the best part of it all. And it's that great taste test. So a little bit of lemon on that never hurts. And let's see what we have accomplished here.